In this video, I will show you how to bond a mix node. As a disclaimer, in this video, I'm using our QA network. And you can see this from the network selector at the top. Therefore, let's get into it. In this video, we won't go into the depths about the roles a mix node plays on the NIM network, as this is documented on the website. If you're interested to learn more, navigate to nimtech.net forward slash docs for more information. The bond screen enables you to have the option to bond either a mix node or a gateway. And this is easily achievable by selecting which radio button you want to do. In this scenario, we will bond a mix node. This is the entry point for individuals to start earning rewards and allowing yourself to mix traffic on the NIM network. We assume that you have followed the instructions to instantiate and set up your mix node. Based upon the documentation, on the nimtech.net forward slash docs website. So let's show what we need to do to bond our mix node. Once I've instantiated my mix node on my hosted server, I am then presented with the following information. Identity key, Sphinx key, owner signature, the host, the version, and other ports. So what I'm going to do now is copy this information across and put it into the NIM wallet. I have now filled out all the required fields in terms to proceed and bond my mix node. One key thing to highlight here is when bonding your mix node and setting your profit margin percentage, take into consideration the percentage you set in layman's terms. If you set your mix node profit margin percent to 100%, you're less likely to have individuals delegate into your mix node as they will receive no rewards. If you're fair in terms of payout from people delegating to your mix node, then you're more inclined to have better delegations along with some other varying factors. On the form as well, we have these additional options where we can configure ports, but I'm not going to do that in this instance. Therefore, I filled out my form and now I'm going to bond my mix node. As you can see, that has successfully completed. Now, as I've automated my mix node via system D on my server, I am going to start it. And as you can see, that has successfully started my mix node, and now I should start receiving traffic and start mixing packets. I'm now going to return to the wallet and then complete the flow. You are only allowed to have one mix node bonded per account. So for future reference, if you did want to go about bonding a mix node again, you would have to unbond this one and then proceed to go and set up a new configuration. To unbond your mix node, simply navigate to the unbond section on the menu on the left hand side here. And if you do have a mix node already bonded, quite simply select the unbond button and that has successfully unbonded our mix node. 